In the last tutorial, I introduced the concept of an accounting equation and how that worked together with a balance sheet. Here you see a tier format account of the balance sheet. You can see on the right hand side we've got all the assets, all the things that the business owns, total assets 40,000 and that's represented by um, liabilities, a loan from ASCO Finance for 20,000 and the amount that the owners have got invested in this in, in instance capital of 20,000 totaling 40,000. So you can see that the balance sheet works where the total assets are equal to the liabilities plus owners equity. So in this instance the um, accounting equation is A equals L plus OE. Right. Now um, I'm going to show you how we can use the other accounting equation uh, in the narrative version where the, the, um, the balance sheet we rep represented by where A minus L um, is, is, equal to, is equal to um, owner's equity, how much we've got in our business. So that's the accounting equation using the narrative version and that's the one that we expected to use most of the time anyway. So I'm going to show you how to reconstruct a T account format into this one here. As you can see, this is the illustrative example on page 24 of your text. Let me just quickly put this up there. Um, okay, so in this instance we're going to have assets minus liabilities equals owner's equity. So I'm just going to cut and shut a few things. So I'm going to take all these assets here. Um, there they are. I'm going to copy that. Bundle them over here. Some assets. Um, I'm going to take away my liabilities. Um, first of all, what I might do is to um, grab a total. Um, just go to auto sum. That's all of that. So that's my forty thousand um, dollars. From that, I'm going to take away my liabilities. I'm going to quickly um, cut that away. And what I'm going to put in here is type in less to indicate that's what I'm doing. Uh, this figure here, I'm just going to chuck over here. All right. So in this instance, my uh, net assets which you can see is going to be the difference between the total assets minus my total liabilities uh, is going to be my net assets um, and that'll be this part of the equation A minus L and hopefully that'll equal to the owner's equity which I'll show to you in a moment so um, I'm going to quickly take that figure take away my liabilities end up with my net assets might just bold that nicely because it's an important figure. Um, also like doing this to it so it may, looks nice and neat. Um, and that is represented by um, by um, the owner's equity. In this instance uh, it's the capital. Um, put that over here. Um, that's my total equity. Um, I'm going to do my nice little presentation again uh, as well. And there we have it. In this instance of what I've done, I've, I've merely cut and shut, as you can see, from the, um, the T account format which uses the A equals liabilities plus owner's equity into this narrative version, uh, assets minus liabilities giving you um, my equity, owner's equity of 20,000. So that equals that. So you can see the balances in the two balance sheets are different, but nevertheless they represent the same information. Just to reiterate, it's the narrative version that we're going to use um, from now on. Now the next concept I want to talk to you about is that whenever a financial tr transaction occurs, and a financial transaction is a financial event that affects the elements of the counting equation. So whenever there is any transaction, it's going to um, impact some element of um, the balance sheet, whether it be cash, inventories, whatever the case may be. And I'm going to show you that how that builds up. So I'm going to use a new spreadsheet here. Um, again, uh, this is taken from, as you can see, I'm using the illustrative example on page 26 in your text. So this is Jay Goff. Um, Jay Goff has just commenced business. So this is a transaction which when we put it into balance sheet looks like this. So he had $100,000 he put in the cash at bank there 
and that contributed, uh, that amounted to the amount of capital contribution here, you can see that. Um, let's have a look at the um, accounting equation, we've got assets equal to 100,000, equal to liabilities, which in this instance is zero, plus and is equity to 100,000, so um, for each um, of these transactions the accounting equation must always balance, so A equals OE in this instance. Now let's keep going. On January the 2nd, he bought a vehicle for $100,000 cash. So what I'm going to do in this demonstration is to build it up um, to see actually how um, I, it, it gets done step by step. So what I'm simply going to do, I'm going to um, copy the old existing balance sheet and put it down here. All right. Now let's just examine what happened. He bought a vehicle for $100,000 for um, $10,000 worth of cash. So I'm s simply going to put in here he bought a motor vehicle. Top that in. Do that properly. There you are. It's ten thousand um, dollars. But he bought it for cash. Um, you can see that I haven't finished my transaction yet um, because um, I've got to reduce the amount of cash at bank. Ninety thousand dollars. Right. So he's now got a vehicle and he's got ninety thousand dollars worth of cash left. Let's check the accounting equation. Total assets equal one hundred thousand dollars and total liabilities and equity is $100,000, so we're still um, balanced, which is fine. Notice there's no liabilities as yet. This is going to change when we look at January the 4th, and in this instance, let's just examine the um, transaction in detail. They bought some furniture on credit, so on credit means that we haven't paid yet, that in sometime in the future we're going to pay Jay Jones. So that, that means that we've got a liability for the future. So in terms of doing this exercise, I'm going to again copy the existing balance sheet because things have changed now. Um, and let's just engage in some changes. The first thing is um, that he bought some furniture, so I might just put that um, into my uh, assets here. It's $5,000. But we've got to ask ourselves where did that $5,000 come from? It didn't come from cash but we still owe it to this person called Jay Jones. So we put that into the equation there. So $5,000. Um, you can see that um, our assets are now $105,000, but we've now got a liability of $5,000 and the original capital of $100,000. So we're now in a position where, again, the a balanced we have got a, a balanced situation in the balance sheet where assets equals liabilities uh, plus owner's equity. Now let's look at our last um, illustration, illustration for, um, for this transaction here. Uh, we, we sold a vehicle for, for 10,000 cash. That was the one that we originally introduced into the business. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to highlight the existing um, balance sheet, copy it in here. Um, this motor vehicle um, doesn't exist anymore because we've sold it. So um, I'm going to get rid of that there, um, but we received some cash for it, so I've got to increase my cash to $100,000. There we are. So what's our uh, balance sheet saying? Well, it does balance. Our accounting equation says that assets on this site are $105,000, represented by the liabilities of five, and owners of equity of $100,000, therefore they're equal. So in summary, um, we've got two different types of balance sheets. Um, this one here, the T account format, is a summary of the A equals L plus OE. The narrative version, which one we use most often, is the assets minus liabilities equals the owner's equity there. Um, when a financial event occurs, which is a transaction, there's four examples here, um, each time the balance sheet will change after every um, transaction that occurs. Hopefully it's been useful to you. Um, if you've got any problems, obviously you talk to me. But thanks for listening.